Good day mga boss! Welcome po ulit sa ating channel, Math Tutorials TV. And in this video, we are going to discuss about geometric sequence. Are you ready? Let us start! Okay, so una-una, we are going to define what is a geometric sequence. So, pag sinabi natin geometric sequence, that is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant called the common ratio. Say for instance, mga boss, we have here a sequence. So, here we have a common ratio of 2. Okay? So, if you're going to multiply a common ratio... Uh, a number by its common ratio, say for instance 1, so if you're going to multiply 2 to 1, that is 2. 2 times 2, that is 4. 2 times 4, that is 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. So, this sequence of numbers is what we call geometric sequence. Okay? So, how are we going to obtain the common ratio? So, we can determine the common ratio by dividing any term in the sequence by the term that precedes it. Say, for instance, hindi natin alam na yung common ratio natin is 2. And we are only given by this sequence, by the by these numbers, sequence of numbers. So, para malaman natin yung common ratio, so we can choose any number from the sequence. Okay? Say, say for instance, 8. Okay? And 8, we will divide 8 by its preceding term. So, the preceding term of 8 is 4. So, pag sinabi natin preceding term, yan yung number before that certain number. So, 8, yung number before 8 is 4. So, if we are going to divide 8 by 4, that is 2. Okay? So, any number lang mga boss, you can pick any number and divide it by its preceding term. Then, the result is what we call the common ratio. So, say for instance, you pick 32. Then, its preceding term is 16. So, divide it by 16. So, 32 divided by 16 is 2. So, R or 2 here is what we call a common ratio. Okay? So, we can determine the uh, nth term of a given geometric sequence by using this formula. So, you have here A sub n, that is the nth term of our geometric sequence, is equal to A sub 1, the first term of our geometric sequence, times R, that is the common ratio, raised to n minus 1. So, this formula is used to determine the nth term of a given geometric sequence. So, I will give you some examples paano gamitin itong formula na to. So, we have here a given problem. What is the fifth term of the geometric sequence 320, 3 halves, 15? Okay. So, before we are going to answer this question or this problem, we should analyze first the given problem. Parang ganyan din sa buhay mga boss. Before tayo um, humanap ng solusyon ng isang problem, dapat is analyze muna natin yung problema para alam naman alam natin kung anong solusyon ang dapat natin gamitin in order to solve that certain problem. So, kaya din ito mga boss. So, first, we are going to determine the given. Okay? So, determine muna natin yung given. So, um, again, sabi ko na kanina, yung formula na gagamitin natin in order to solve for the nth term of a geometric sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, here in our geometric sequence, we are given a sub 1, that is the first term. So, ano yung first term ng, uh, ng ating given geometric sequence? Yes, correct mga boss, that is 3 divided by 20 or 3 over 20. Okay. How about what is the uh, common ratio? Okay. We solve pa natin yung common ratio. So again, mga boss, remind ko kayo, pag, uh, in order to determine the common ratio, you can pick any term in the given geometric sequence and divide it by its preceding term. So say for instance, you are going to pick 15. So we are going to divide it by its preceding term that is 3 halves. Okay. So, 15 divided by 3 halves, since we have a divisor of a fraction, so review natin yung division ng fraction mga boss. So, we will proceed to multiplication and get the reciprocal of our divisor. 
Okay? Yan yung ginagawa mga boss if we're going to divide a certain number by a fraction. Okay? Kung ang divisor natin is a fraction. So, what is the reciprocal of 3 halves? So, pag sinabi reciprocal mga boss, we are going to change the numerator by the denominator and the denominator by the numerator. So, magiging 2 thirds na yan mga boss. Okay? So, by multiplying, okay, pwede natin magamit yung cancellation. Ito, kasi may common factor yung 15 and 3 na 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is 1. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So, 5 times 2 is 10. So, yung R natin mga boss is 10. Okay? Next, uh, ano pa yung given? So, wala na. Okay na. Then, we are asked to find for, okay? We are asked to find for the fifth term. Okay? So, fifth term po yung hahanapin natin. So, by using this formula, we can solve the fifth term of the given geometric sequence. So, A sub, by the way, our N is equal to 5. Why? It's just because we are asked to find for the fifth term. And N here is the number of term. So, since we are asked to find for the fifth term, our N is equal to 5. So, this is A, raised to five, uh, A sub 5, I mean. So, what is our A sub 1? So, our A sub 1 is 3 over 20. Okay? Multiplied to our R is 10. Raised to our N is 5 minus 1. Okay? Applying the PEMDAS rule, mga boss. So, we have to evaluate first the exponent. Okay? So, this is 10 raised to 5 minus 1. That is 4. Okay? But, is, but what is 10 raised to 4? Okay? Hindi pa, pwede, uh, hindi pa po pwedeng mag-multiply kasi meron pa pong exponent. According sa PEMDAS rule, we have to evaluate the exponent first before we are going to multiply. So, what is 10 raised to 4? Okay, gagamit pa ba tayo ng calculator, mga boss? Ito, napakadali lang. Uh, tuturuan ko yan ng teknik ng um, base 10 raised to a certain number. Okay? Pag yung base 10, yung base natin is 10 at na-raise siya sa into different or certain number, ito lang ginagawa natin mga boss. Kung ano yung exponent niya, yan yung number of zeros niya. So, sulat natin 1. So, na-raise yung 10 sa 4. It means to say we have 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. In other words, 10 raised to 4 is 10,000 mga boss. Okay? So, multiply to 3 uh, over 20. 10,000 times 3 over 20. So, here we can cancel out first before we're going to multiply. Since 20 and 10,000 has a common factor of 20, so 20 divided by 20 is 1. Uh, 20 divided by... Uh, I mean, 10,000 divided by 20 is 500. No, it's 500 mga boss. So, this is 500. Okay? Next, uh, 500 times 1, that is 1, 5. So, the fifth term we are looking for is 1,500 of this given geometric sequence. Okay, next problem tayo mga boss. We are asked here to find the sixth term of a geometric sequence where the second term is 6 and the common ratio is 2. So, again mga boss, we are going to identify first or determine first the given. Okay? So, we are given here second term is 6. So, that means that is A sub 2 because we are given a second term. So, yung second term means that is A sub 2. This is 6. We have here a common ratio is 2. That is R equals 2. Okay? So, we are asked to find for okay, the sixth term or simply A sub 6. Okay? So, we are asked to find for A sub 6. So, the formula we are going to use in order to solve this certain problem or the nth term of a given geometric sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. Okay. Kung manotice nyo mga boss, sa given natin is walang a sub 1. <coughs> diba? So, kailangan natin uh, masolve yung certain term in a given geometric sequence pag meron tayong a sub 1, meron tayong r. Tama? So, wala tayong a sub 1. So, anong gagawin natin? So, hahanapin natin yung value ng a sub 1 gamit yung value ng a sub 2. Okay? So, first, we're going to solve for a sub 1. So, here, we're going to solve first for a sub 1. Okay? 
by using the formula we have here and a sub 2 we have here uh, a sub 2 equals a sub 1 times r since a sub 2 na dito yung n natin is 2 na mga boss minus 1 substituting now a sub 2 the value of a sub 2 is 6 okay equals a sub 1 so yun yung hinahanap natin so wala pa siyang value our r is 2 then 2 minus raised to 2 minus 1 simplifying further we have 6 equals a sub 1 so times 2 2 minus 1 that is 1 so no need na to na ilagay yung exponent kasi 1 na yung exponent ng 2 so to solve for a sub 1 we have to divide both sides of the equation by 2 so para a sub 1 na lang yung matira so dito ko lang isulat a sub 1 6 divided by 2 is 3 so eto yung a sub 1 mga boss okay so, tapos na po ba tayo sa ating problem? Siyempre, hindi pa. Bakit? Because we are asked to find for a sub 6, not a sub 1. Kinuha lang natin yung a sub 1 kasi gagamitin natin yung value ng a sub 1 to get the value of a sub 6. So, now, we can now solve for the value of a sub 6. So, we have here a sub 6 equals a sub 1 times r raised to, since our n is 6, this is now 6 minus 1. Okay? By substitution, we have here, so wala pang yung a sub 6 kasi yan yung hinahanap natin. A sub 1 now is 3 times our r is, the value of r is 2 raised to 6 minus 1. Okay? So this is now equal to a sub 6 equals r to 6 minus 1, that is 5. Okay? Next, we have a sub 6 equals so, what is 2 raised to 5? So, multiply natin yung, we have 5 factors of 2. It is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is 4, this is 8, this is 16, and that is 32. So, 3 times 32 because 2 raised to 5 is 32. So, what is now our a sub 6? So, 3 times 32 is 96. So, this is the value, mga boss, of a sub Six. Okay, third example tayo mga boss. So we have here in the geometric sequence 6, 12, 24, 48 which term is 768? So here, first determine natin yung given. Okay. So given tayo ng A sub 1. So that is the first term. That is 6. Okay. Next, we are going to uh, identify or determine the value of R. So, we can choose any number, then divide it by its preceding term. Say, so say for instance, 12. We divide this by the preceding term of 12 is 6. So, our R is equal to 2. So, our R is 2. Okay. Our A is 6. A sub 1, I mean, is 6. Okay. So, we are asked to find for uh, term. So, we are asked to find for N. So, what term is 768? Okay, so we are asked to solve for n. So n is the term of the given sequence or the number of term the given sequence. So yun yung hahanapin natin mga boss. So yung solution natin, so we are going to again to use the formula of a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So we have here, uh, hindi natin alam if what is 7, 768. By the way, we have here a sub n is 768. So, hindi natin alam kung ano yung n. Okay? So, a sub n natin is 768. This is 768 equals a sub 1 is 6. Okay? R, our r is 2 raised to n. Kasi hindi natin alam yung value ng n minus 1. Okay? Next, we have here. So, we are going to solve for the value of n. So, ang gagawin natin is we are going to divide both equations by or whole equation by 6. Okay? Para mawala na dito yung 6. So, this is now equal to uh, 2 raised to n minus 1 kasi makakancel yung 6 dito. So, sa kabila, we have 768 divided by 6. That is uh, 1, 16, 2, 48, 8. Okay. So, 768 divided by 6 is 128. Now, paano natin makukuha yung value ng n? Okay. Kung makikita nyo dito mga boss, our n is in the exponent. 
So, gaga, review tayo ng uh, how to solve um, exponential equation. Okay? Exponential equation to mga boss. So, yung ginagawa dyan mga boss, kasi yung n is nasa exponent, gagawin natin is since yung n has a base of 2, yung n minus 1 has a base of 2, uh, gagawin natin, i-convert natin yung 128 into a base of 2. Para once magpareho na yung base niya, uh, uh, mayroong rule sa exponential equation na pagpareho yung base, ma-equate natin yung kanilang mga exponents. So if you're going to express this in a base of 2, what should be the exponent of 2 to have a, an answer of 128? So tama mga boss, that is 7. Okay? So if you're going to multiply... Uh, if you're going to evaluate 2 raised to 7, that is 2 times 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so this is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. Times 2 is 128. So therefore, two, 128 is 2 raised to 7. So this is now 2 raised to n minus 1. Since we have now same base, Kaya gagawin natin mga boss is we are going to equate the exponents. Okay? Kasi nagpareho na yung base. Okay? Next, to solve for n, applying APE, this is now equal to n. 7, lipat natin yung negative 1, magiging positive 1. So, our n is equal to 8. So, therefore, 768 is on the nth term. So, nasa nth term po yung 768. So, I hope May natutunan kayo sa ating uh, video ngayon mga boss. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for supporting our channel. And God bless.